Hello guys and welcome. My name is Mina Maher. I'm a mechanical engineer from Egypt. Uh, today I'm going to share with you how to change uh, the angle of attack uh, for the Darius uh, turbine that we did uh, a video for it, how to model it. Uh, this question I got from Gregorius, uh, uh, one of my subscribers. He uh, asked me to uh, show him how to change the angle of attack uh, on SOLIDWORKS uh, so I am uh, and this is really important because uh, if you are modeling uh, to enter the model into a CFD program you would need to enter a number of angle of attacks uh, for your iterations okay uh, so I'm going to share with you today on uh, uh, how to change the angle of attack on SOLIDWORKS okay and please stay to the end of the video I have a surprise for you let's get started now we open SOLIDWORKS okay as this is the model that we did before uh, if we uh, the easiest way to to do this is to uh, use direct editing mode okay so you have uh, these tabs here okay so you double click uh, you uh, sorry you right click on it and then you choose direct editing okay on direct editing you will see the command move or copy values okay uh, this uh, move or copy you can get also from the research here in the research command tab okay you can uh, write it here move or copy body or you can get it from direct editing okay uh, first you have to choose the bodies to move okay so I will move I will ask for the blade uh, when I click here he uh, selected the mirror I don't like that uh, I need the body okay uh, that's a good part to show because that uh, we have a problem here in this model which is uh, you merged or the bodies into one body here if you open the feature manual you would see that we merged the bodies into one body and we don't have to do that in the previous video that i made uh, this wasn't an issue we already unchecked the merged results okay so i will have to do it again and the mirror here will ask for the features okay and uh, Okay, the problem here is you want it. Uh, you want a body to mirror. Okay, then we can cancel it and we can do it again. So uh, mirror interface would be this face. Okay, and the bodies to mirror would be the body itself. Okay, so now you have in SolidWorks five bodies. Okay, that each blade has a body and the extrude the uh, both the upper uh, the upper part and the lower part okay so now we can use the direct editing okay now let's uh, rotate the blades okay uh, we will go to a move or copy bodies okay we will select one blade only each time uh, because if you select the all the three blades you would think that you want to rotate the whole model uh, with this angle and this is not what we are trying to do we are trying to rotate each blade only so we have to go then to options and then to rotate okay and then about the z axis you have to rotate it about let's say 45 degree angle so we, here is the preview the blade is he, right here and it was rotated 45 degree angle if you made it like with negative sign it will rotate the other way, way around okay so select uh, what you want uh, if this is first time to uh, work with this command it, he might check the copy uh, the copy option don't copy it he will copy the he would make two bodies if you select the copy one was the rotation and one was not without the rotation uh, which is not uh, what we are trying to do okay and then say okay then you have these three blades okay what the two are the previous uh, non rotated bodies and this one is a rotated one uh, you have to do this step three times for each blade 
one question I got from you guys uh, about uh, showing the sketches like uh, when we uh, were trying to model uh, some of you needed the sketches the previous sketches to be shown while drawing so you have to go to the feature that you made the sketch in and then you press this arrow of the feature and then you will see the sketch and then you can uh, right click on it and then uh, press show so the sketch will be showing you so you can model from it okay and you, I will hide it now uh, and uh, in one of my previous uh, videos uh, when you see a red circle that is me pressing the left mouse key okay when I, when you see like uh, a yellow or green uh, a green circle this is when I press the right mouse button okay so when you try to exit any command that you are trying to do you have to like uh, let's say I'm making a sketch okay so if I made like a line okay I want to exit this line you can double click or you can just escape press the escape button uh, and this is it uh, now another question that I got from you guys uh, when you try to sketching okay and you have like a circle and a line and uh, you wanna uh, make a relation between the two you have to select it select the first uh, line on and the second line okay why pressing the control key so he can select the both lines okay and then you can add the relations as you want to okay uh, now let's say I wanted to uh, make this point on the circle okay so I I'm pressing the control key and then I pressed the point then the circle and now I will choose coincident okay and that's it uh, this is our all the problems that uh, they we are facing you guys I hope this uh, I'm now messing with the view <laughs> uh, I hope this uh, tutorial is really informative for you okay and uh, now for the surprise that I told you guys I am sharing these files the SOLIDWORKS file uh, to GrabCAD I will add the link below uh, this GrabCAD uh, uh, will have all uh, the three files the Saphonius turbine and the uh, Darius turbine and the assembly so you can uh, edit for yourself uh, uh, these files and use them if you need in any CFD program okay and uh, lastly I want to ask you guys uh, what are the models that you are trying to model and have a struggle with and I can help you of course with them just uh, write in the comments what models you would need me to uh, model for you okay and I will make a video for them okay that's all thank you guys for watching and see you next time thanks